Welcome back and hello if you are new. Now, a genre that is often tied to its traditions, black metal can be incredibly unforgiving. However, experimentation allows artists to flourish, and one such being Mirkur, who has done away with any black metal stereotypes on her brand new album, Volkensange. Quite literally translating to mean people's songs, or as you can imagine, folk songs, really is Mirkur embracing her Scandinavian roots. From the yodeling style on Ella and Tor i Helheim, to the more traditional instruments that are used, such as on Leaves of Yggdrasil, which has a lyre, which is a, you know, kind of quintessential traditional Scandinavian instrument. With texture being a focal point of Mirkur's sound, the rich timbre of cellos often complement the falsetto angle of her vocals to create a really quite heartwarming sound. Volkensange also highlights Mirko's fantastic vocal range, and some of the particular standouts would have to be Ramund and Rayar, which both illustrate just how versatile of a singer she really is. Another tool at her disposal is diction. Now, given that a lot of the lyrics on this album are pretty much written in Danish, my ear was kind of drawn to not necessarily the meaning of the lyrics, but how they were kind of said, so the phonetics which gives her voice more of an instrumental quality, yet her vocals can also take on somewhat more of an angelic approach, let's just say, as seen on Gorunus Ville, which technically, I think, means as a translation, God's will. Piano shadows Mirko's voice and is used as a wonderfully cinematic tool, especially the album closer, the very timid and really beautiful Winter. And what's so great about this song is that the notes that were chosen are so precise, but they're also incredibly emotive at the same time. It's very much a, a technique I think that they use in cinema and particularly reminded me of the Cloud Atlas sextet but also has almost like a Philip Glass kind of quality to them. We have kind of the lower end, which is being looked after by those fantastic cellos, but then it's also juxtaposed with the higher end of the piano, which really come together to create a very cinematic sound as well. And personally reminded me a lot of those kind of really quite reverential tones that we saw on the likes of Game of Thrones, for example. It's a beautiful and incredibly honest tapestry that is interwoven between cultural values, heritage, and of course, melancholy. And despite these songs being kind of classic, traditional Scandinavian tracks, it's her reworking and reimagining of them that really makes it her own. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Most importantly though, I hope all of you guys are safe and sound. I know that things are a bit crazy at the minute. Um, I've been working from home <laughs> and will be for the foreseeable future. And I hope that everyone is dealing with all the events that are happening okay. And you know, we're all in this together at the end of the day. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys very soon for another video. All right, take care.